What movie did you feel like during that time got offered to you that you passed on that you wished you had done? Forrest Gump. <laughs> no, uh, I don't know. Uh, shit, Bill and Ted's actually. Bill and Ted's. Um, Bill and Ted's was uh, was my first audition ever. So if you go online and you Google Poly Shore auditions for Bill and Ted's, they actually just released because Bill and Ted just came out. They just released the um, my audition. So I'm like auditioning with with Alex Winters, which I remember, and I'm watching it, and I'm like, oh my god, like I am Bill and Ted. Like, like oh, yeah. if you watch it, and you could tell Keanu's acting as Bill. I was the fucking guy, but the only reason why I didn't get it because Keanu was hot off of River's Edge, and he had done some really, and Keanu was awesome, awesome actor, and he'd done some really fucking cool films. And the studios, I think it was Orion Pictures at the time. They were like, we're going with Keanu. But then that was the thing that took my career into like the stratosphere, into MTV and all that shit. But Bill and Ted's was like, I really wanted it. And I got it all the way to the end. It was my first audition ever. And um, because it was perfect for me, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know? Um, and then what other ones? Fuck, dude. I don't know, man. I think some fucking like David Arquette movies probably. He took, some, he took some roles from me. Oh, shit. I remember auditioning for Francis Ford Coppola back when auditions were so dope, dude. Like, you have to understand, dude, when I first started acting, it was me, Brad Pitt, David Arquette, Leonardo DiCaprio, fucking Johnny Depp, you know, all these fucking guys. Like, it was so much fun, dude. You get an audition and you get the paper and you're like, you're going to audition for Scorsese. And I fucking, or wait, yeah, yeah, with Scorsese, he was doing some fucking movie. And, and, I had, and he's right there in the corner, and it's all dark. And it's like, there's Scorsese and shit, you know? And then, and I got 21 Jump Street. That was a really big deal for me. Because back then, 21 Jump Street was the coolest fucking show on Fox. Oh, and yeah. If you got on fucking 21 Jump Street, you got to hang out with fucking Johnny Depp in Vancouver. And Richard and, Grieco. No, he was after. Oh, for real? Oh, yeah. Richard Grieco was way after because because what happened was is Johnny Depp started getting really popular on 21 Jump Street. And, and, and he started wanting a lot more money because they were really milking him. And then Fox was like, you know what? Fuck this guy. We're going to get someone better looking and cooler. And they brought on Richard Grieco. And Johnny's like, whatever, dude. And then Richard Grieco lasted as fast as that Jesse Camp did, which was on fucking MTV. <laughs> Remember that fucking guy? They try to bring in a new Pauly Shore. They try to bring in a new Pauly Shore. They're like, oh, yeah, he's in. I'm like, no, dude, it's not going to happen. But, um, yeah, so, uh, but 21 Jump Street, saying else, elsewhere, you know, it was like Hollywood was so awesome back there then because when you got an audition, it was like exciting. You know what I mean? It was like, oh, my God. Like, I used to listen to that fucking, that, uh, 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 remember that, you know, that's that song by Peter Gabriel, big time. Yeah. I used to listen that in my Jeep before I'd go into the fucking audition, dude. And I'd psych myself up because, you know, I, I worship, you know, Sean Penn and, and all these guys. And I'm like in Hollywood and I got an age and I'm with triad back when triad was before William Morris, where they, before they merged and I had my script, it said triad on it. And it was just such an exciting time. I was said it was great, you know? It I was think, so much fun. 